Hey, it's good to see you again. I just wanted to uh, bring you an additional message to what I said the other day. I told you the other day that we'll extend the virtual worship for a while, but what I didn't talk about was how beautiful and powerful this worship has been. I keep getting emails, notes, letters, phone calls from people literally from around the world keep sending us information and feedback. And of course, all of you keep in touch. But there's some very powerful things happening. If we can't be together in person, let's say this is second best, okay? So what's happening is we're hearing the Word preached every Sunday morning. We're hearing the Word of God brought to us every single morning, every Sunday morning. We're hearing Mr. Mark come to us and put his heart out for our children and for all of us every Sunday morning. Emily brings these incredible prayers every Sunday morning. So we are blessed tenfold, twentyfold, a hundredfold. The only thing missing in the pews is you. That's a huge miss for me. I miss you from the depths of my heart. When I'm teaching, I see your faces and I light up. I just feel so close to you. But for now, we got to do it this way. So here's what I need you to do. If you're inspired by what has been happening over these 14 weeks that we have done virtual worship, let us know how it's inspired you. Better yet, share the good news with friends, either during the service or after the service. But whatever it is you do, come to worship with, a, with an open heart, with a loving heart, with a receptive heart, and as you depart every Sunday, depart to serve. Just like it's chiseled above our doors, enter to worship, depart to serve. Let's stick together while we're apart, and let's never forget, God's worship is happening, we are praising and glorifying God, and it is good. Thank you, I'll talk to you soon.